Nothing so touches a good heart as to see itself beloved, says St. Francis de Sales. God loved men so much as to make him little less than a God. He has placed a multitude of blessed and glorious spirits to serve him. God has given us the holy angels as our most dear and ever faithful friends who love us at all times, may we be good or bad. They are our powerful advocate and protector, most wise masters. Every kind of good is to be found in their love, not only of our guardian angels but of all the angels. St. Augustine teaches that all the angels watch over men. These blessed spirits are ordered by hierarchies and choirs. In God everything is order and beauty. The nine choirs are divided into three hierarchies. The term choir means degree or rank. The first hierarchy is composed of the seraphims, the cherubims and the thrones. They received their light immediately from God, which they communicate to the two other hierarchies. Then the second hierarchy is composed of the powers, the virtues, and the dominations. The dominations are the lords of the second hierarchy and give orders in the things of God. The virtues give strength to obey them, and the powers resist the devils who oppose the execution of the will of God. The third hierarchy of angels are composed of the angels, the archangels and the principalities. This last hierarchy is engaged in the care of men, of nations and provinces, and of other things which contribute to the good of men. Our guardian angels are taken from the third hierarchy. These blessed and glorious spirits are called intelligences. They understand everything at a glance. They know things without effort, and know many things at the same time and in an instant, without doubt or obscurity. The most sacred mysteries of religion are known to them, and they know the secrets of nature. The wisest men upon earth are only children in comparison with these pure intelligences. But this is even a weak comparison to the reality. Their power is also immense and indescribably great. One single angel could defeat millions of men prepared for battle, even all the men in the world united together. He could work marvelous changes in the atmosphere and in nature, in cities, provinces, and kingdoms. So much so that they could make the winds blow, rain to fall, raise tempests, cause earthquakes, stop the course of rivers, bestow abundance or produce famine, cure all sicknesses, and perform a thousand other wonders only in a moment of time. They are represented with wings that shows their swiftness, so much so that they pass from one end of the world to another in an instant. And how perfectly enchanting are the angels. They are all beauty. The least beautiful among them surpasses all the united charms of the earth. One could imagine that if they are infinite in number, how dazzling must be the splendor of the most exalted spirits in heaven. Blessed are those who are devoted to your holy angels O Lord. And those that honor these blessed spirits doing all good works and avoiding sin. They shall dwell in your kingdom where there will only be everlasting happiness and communion with you O most adorable, holy triune God with all the blessed spirits, and with the august queen of the angels and of paradise for all eternity. So be it. The Imitation of Christ is the next best seller after the Holy Bible. It teaches us how to grow spiritually. Click the link below to get this $14 book for free.